it has been a spring of steam at the North Carolina Transportation Museum. The Civil War era Texas locomotive. The 1931 Lehigh Valley coal number 126. And the headliner, the Queen of Steam, the 1950 NNW Class J 611. During early spring of 2016, the North Carolina Transportation Museum had the pleasure of hosting not one or two, but three steam locomotives on the museum campus, all appearing for different reasons and representing different ways steam locomotives were used in their day. All three locomotives also provided museum visitors and online followers with a close-up 21st century view of this old world technology. The steam locomotive is something that most folks don't relate to. It's such a large piece of equipment, the big wheels, the noise, the smell. So it's interesting to watch uh, folks who've never seen one before and their reaction to something this size uh, rolling down the railroad. The saying goes, when steam engines go on vacation, they come to Spencer, and Scott Lindsay is their travel agent. The Virginia Museum of Transportation and the Fire Up 611 Committee tapped Lindsay to head up their 2014 and 2015 restoration of the Class J 611, putting her back on the rails. The engine, built in 1950, was a premier passenger locomotive, powering trains like the Powhatan Arrow, Cavalier, and the Pocahontas. Uh, having 611 out brings, uh, brings it to a whole new generation that hope will take interest and uh, allow us to continue operating it for many, many years. The work was done at the North Carolina Transportation Museum over the course of a year in the Bob Julian Roundhouse, and Lindsay remains the mechanical engineer for this streamliner steam locomotive. The engine has been back in Spencer during 2016 for excursion trips and public appearances. Older generations uh, remember 611 and the other Norfolk and Western 600s and other locomotives in daily service. Uh, back in the, in the 50s, and then the next generations of uh, uh, folks that rode behind it in the 1980s and 90s as youngsters a lot of times, and now they want the opportunity to bring their children out to ride and see 611 or steam anywhere to have that, to have that experience. It's something they remembered as a, as a child. While the 611 represents the final class of steam locomotives produced in the height of steam technology, one steps back 100 years to a far different time when the United States was plunged into civil war and steam technology looked a bit different. Well, it's amazing. Right, right on the site here at North Carolina Transportation Museum, have 100 years of steam technology. Uh, like you just mentioned, 1856, Civil War locomotive Texas, cosmetic restoration, and the last of steam, 611. The Texas is famed for chasing down another well-known locomotive, the General, in 1862, after that engine was stolen by Union spies behind Confederate lines in what's now Kennesaw, Georgia. The Texas ran down the General backwards in what's become known as the Great Locomotive Chase of the Civil War. Scott Lindsay was also chosen by the Atlanta History Center to cosmetically refurbish the 1856 Texas steam locomotive, and that work is also taking place at the North Carolina Transportation Museum. Amazing technology. The locomotives uh, definitely got larger. The Texas uh, locomotive weighs 53,000 pounds, and the weight carried on the four lead wheels on 611 are 104,000 pounds. In our third locomotive, an annual visitor to the museum, the Lehigh Valley Coal Number 126. Built in 1931, this engine spent years delivering coal throughout Pennsylvania during the height of steam locomotion. The 126 was rescued from scrappers by the Grambling Locomotive Company, fully restored, and now travels the nation's tourist railroads and museums. And Spencer, she provides the annual at the throttle experience, allowing visitors to take the throttle and power down the tracks, engineering an authentic steam locomotive. This spring of steam will continue into the summer. While the 126 will depart the museum, the Texas will continue to be restored through late 2016, and the Class J 611 will be visiting for the month of June and again in September, as the North Carolina Transportation Museum and the Virginia Museum of Transportation continue a partnership that's seen increases in visitation, sold out excursion trips, and great social media attention for both.
very large amount of money required to uh, keep the locomotive safe and uh, serviceable and we want to continue doing that so it's uh, through ticket sales and donations that we're able to do that. Find out more at nctrans.org and visit the North Carolina Transportation Museum.